simple, a similar experiment, uh, we talked about chronocolometry uh, as being a, a preferable experiment to chronoamperometry in many cases. And the advantages uh, still occur if we do chronocolometry. Q sub f, uh, we've already written that result down previously, so I'll just reiterate it here. And the back result, um, again, t greater than tau. different form of the equation now. Tau to the one half plus T minus tau to the one half minus T to the one half. And um, so the ratio of the forward and the back charges again for T greater than tau is equal to T over tau to the one half power minus T over tau minus one to the one half power. And uh, under conditions like we just talked about here for QB T two tau and QF tau, uh, the ratio is 0.414. Part of that's doing the, due to the fact that we've integrated the result rather than measured the time dependent result. Now, in both of those cases, for the chronoamperometry and the chronocolometry, we can check that ratio as a good indication of the chemical stability of species R. In other words, by stepping backwards and looking at that current, we can say if that ratio is not 0.293, we can say with some certainty that R has been depleted somehow. Somehow R has gone away and the most likely explanation in that case is there'd be some sort of chemical reaction that was occurring to um, use up R and it's no longer available for us. And so we can check the stability of our species by doing these potential forward and reverse steps. Also, if it's larger than R, if R larger than that 0.293, that's another situation that might arise. And that would be a situation in which uh, you might have a, a reaction that was unforeseen, and you're seeing not only the reduction or oxidation of R, but oxidation of something else at the same time that you wouldn't expect otherwise. Okay. Potential reversal methods are used a lot in analytical methods. They turned out to have somewhat limited applications in sort of physical methods of electrochemistry or turning, making measurements in kinetics, although they're used a little bit. But in fact, the most widely used methods using, the most widely used uh, area in which potential reversal methods are used is in the case of analytical measurements. And um, 